Hi, my name's Nick, and I'm studying biological engineering here at the University of Idaho. And my name is Lydia, and I'm studying mechanical engineering. Today, we're going to learn about how energy is transferred to falling objects and how velocity, or an object's speed and direction of motion, affects that energy. We'll learn how different materials can be used in a design to minimize damage during a collision by building a structure to cushion an egg when it's dropped so it doesn't break. These concepts can help you understand things like how cars are designed to withstand crashes, how a cell phone case reduces impact when you drop your phone, how helmets protect your head from brain injury, and lastly, how NASA rovers use energy to travel on Mars. So, let's get started. For this activity, each person or group working to complete the activity will need the following. A few raw, uncracked eggs, masking tape, cotton balls, plastic grocery bag, an egg carton, newspaper, a red solo cup, or any plastic cup works, balloons, straws, toothpicks, or pipe cleaners, string, a gallon Ziploc bag to help contain any mess, and paper towels for cleanup. Possible extra materials you may need include a toilet paper roll and two kitchen sponges. While Nick starts building, I'll go through our preliminary designs. So what we've got here are two designs that we thought of before we went on this one. So the first one is a paper sphere, like this one. And the idea is that the egg is gonna get cushioned when it hits the ground. This is a cup capsule, so the cup, like this one, is the housing around the egg, and then there's cushioning around it. But these are just two ideas, and you can go with whatever you want. Once you have all your materials collected, you're ready to begin. First, you'll want to decide the height you will drop the egg from. We recommend dropping from at least six feet. You can stand on a table or a ladder. You can drop your egg from higher distances to add to the challenge. Next, brainstorm three construction ideas. You want to design a structure for the egg to ride in that ensures the egg is intact when it hits the ground. The two main ways of doing this include decreasing the speed at which the egg falls and cushioning the egg when it hits the ground. What materials can you use to decrease the speed at which the egg falls? What materials act as good cushion material? Now it's time to test. Once you've decided where you're going to drop your object, do a practice run of dropping an unprotected egg from your selected height. Now, go ahead and drop your protected egg from the same height. If it doesn't break, incrementally increase the drop height until the egg does break. Remember to stay safe. All right, well, let's check out what happened to our egg. We started off dropping it at six feet, and then we moved to eight feet, and then we finally ended at 12 feet. <gasps> she survived! Well, that was a lot of fun. If you're struggling to come up with design ideas, check out our resource links on our website at uidaho.edu slash engineering the future. You can also find more information and real life examples of how the concepts you learned in this video are related to real life engineering solutions. And don't forget to take a picture of yourself or your group with your completed project and submit it online for a chance to win prizes and scholarships. And we'll see you at Expo April 29th. Go, Go Vandals! Vandals!